Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and yet another episode of my F1 2019 mod. Now uh, this time we're racing as Pierre Gasly around the desert of Bahrain. This was a very highly requested one from you guys in the comments of the past episodes and today we're racing in the Red Bull Honda car. Now let's see how this goes, let's see how the Honda Power Unit performs against other teams. I decided to go for a bit of a power circuit in the form of Bahrain with those long straights and it's going to make for a very interesting race and an interesting challenge and I think you guys will enjoy it also is a track that just generally provides decent racing so hopefully we can have some good fun here today it's going to be a 25 percent race as always guys and once again um i'm really enjoying it so we're going for cockpit view again which is what i seem to enjoy at the moment with this mod and um yeah we're racing as pig so hopefully it should be a very very fun race and if you guys do got to enjoy the video then please do drop a like and let me know in the comments down below who you'd like me to see race as next in maybe a future episode but let's see how this goes it's gonna be very very fun and i'm thoroughly looking forward to hopefully you know, maybe getting a podium. Let's see what happens. I've, um, gonna, I'm going to try my best against the OP AI around this circuit. But with that being said, let's just see how it goes and hopefully we can have a good race. So with that being said, let's jump into it and let's see how this Bahrain Grand Prix gets underway. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position with Pierre Gasly alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, and Hamilton, Ricardo, Grosjean, Stroll, and Stoffel van Dorn, Holkenberg, Sainz, Sergio Perez, and Magnussen, Alonso, Marcus Ericsson, and Brendan Hartley. Raikkonen and Sergei Sorotkin rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Right then, so here we are on the grid. We start the race from second place. Really decent qualifying and overall no complaints. It's worked out beautifully for us. And we've got Bottas alongside us here on the front row. Now this is going to be a test, a bit of a drag race of sorts down towards turn one to see if this Red Bull car can compete with the Honda Power unit on the straights. And uh, yeah, in terms of the strategy today, a very simple one start with the super softs onto the soft compound tyres. And uh, also fuel wise, we are two laps over. Not too light, but also not too heavy. And uh, hopefully we can have a good little race. I'm looking forward to it. And if we can get a first place, going to turn one that'd be fantastic but let's see how let's see how it goes really my starts haven't been good with this mod however they have been very good with career mode lately so a bit of um a bit of a black and white scenario so hopefully we can get a bit of a rubber the green and have a decent start but with that being said let's jump into it here and let's get into this 25 percent race as pierre gasly with the f1 2019 mod right here we go then we're going to get ready for the five red lights we're going to try and get those optimal revs there we go lights out away we go very quick five lights to be fair we get a similar start to bottas neither of us really get off that well as we go down towards turn one here oh very close gotta be careful my nose there to not lose it we're going to be able to take second place and take the racing line here behind bottas can we race him up towards turn four i don't think we can he's got a bit too much speed for us but a very decent start we uh, matched bottas which was the main thing we didn't lose any places either we've recovered we did momentarily lose p2 to leclerc but we got that back and now we can actually start racing these guys. So I'm actually racing on 105% AI for this one. Um, the AI are very, very OP around this circuit. And I want to actually have a bit of a fun race and actually um, be on the same pace as the AI, not on the defensive like I'm in career mode. So we're going to be running 105 in this race. I think it's still going to be really, very tough. Um, I should have maybe gone for 102 or something like that. But we're going to hopefully have a decent race nonetheless. And hopefully uh, it makes for good action in this video for you guys. So just a small disclaimer there first time in a long time dare I say maybe even for the first time ever I've raced on something that's not 110% AI on this game because normally I think I've raced it since day one on this game on the hardest difficulty ever since the first episode of career mode so this may be a first in uh, my experience on this F1 2018 game but yeah so you guys know just for the record it's 105 AI but I still think it's going to provide a challenge and a tough tough race for us really concentrating at the minute but so far it's going okay we're keeping Bottas in our sights we're, we were slightly faster than him that lap actually so we were the fastest around this circuit but I am running maximum engine modes here and I'm absolutely going for it as DRS is now unable to want to try and get within a second of Bottas looks like a four car breakaway though with uh, Bottas myself Leclerc and Verstappen okay we managed to get DRS which is pretty good that means we're just within range. Hopefully we can stick with it though through this final sector, which is where all the power is, which is where we're going to see this Honda can keep up. Okay, at the final corner, we are close to this lap. Once again, we are within DRS of Bottas. We are a little bit far back though. 
We have shaken off Leclerc, which is good. Leclerc is going to have trouble with Verstappen, but we match our personal best. And we're going to close the gap up to Bottas here quite nicely as we run a little bit hot into turn one. We're going to have to rotate the front end there to make sure we uh, get the apex. But we're now looking to start putting in a bit of an attack on Bottas here. I'm having to really concentrate though. My pace is uh, very strong. Running the best possible setup I can. Could be better, but um, the best to my, my ability and knowledge, which isn't great. But let's try and put some pressure on Bottas here if we can. All right, here we go. Into the final corner. What's my best one? I keep breaking too late into there and I keep on dro dropping the back end. But Verstappen's actually made the move on the close, surprisingly. But here we go. Overtake ERS engaged. We're going to go down to medium now. We're going to try and line up a move on Bottas. We're going to pull to the inside. Bottas holds it around the outside. It's going to give me a bit of a squeeze into the apex that we have to leave the room. Bottas holds on. We lose the back end. Good defensive driving to be fair to Bottas. Got to give him credit. As the Chloe and Verstappen are battling behind as well. So it's all kicking off here, but... Looks like round one goes to Bottas, he's a survive. Proper good old squeeze into the apex there, I had to really be careful to lose, not lose my front wing. But we are absolutely on it at the minute. Rebel car feels great. Oh, Bottas locks up. Oh, nah, just awkward positioning. I thought he was going to miss his apex completely there, but he unfortunately still made the corner, so I kind of had to get all over the curb to avoid hitting the back of him. But I think Bottas is feeling the pressure a little bit. Just got to make sure I don't get too... Flustered, I need to stay within DRS, that's the important thing, otherwise we're going to struggle to close back up again. Gaining on Bottas here, but I think I'm just a little bit too far back, this lap. So just going to have to uh, let that one go. I think those couple of lockups and mistakes just um, dropped me off of Bottas a little bit there, so we was, wasn't really close enough to attack him on the straight. This is our, this is our scheduled pissed up lap though, I'm guessing Bottas will pit in as well, so this could be interesting strategy wise now. So it's important to stay close to Bottas when it comes to entering the pit lane, and uh, also hope for a little bit of luck maybe to not get held up. But preferably, I'd like to pass Bottas on the track if possible. Okay, we're very close to Bottas this time around. Unfortunately, we're pitting in, so we're not really going to get a chance to have a go at him. Let's just make sure we keep it all nice and tidy through the final corner here. Up to speed, and then we're going to knock down the ERS deployment. And Bottas actually stays out, quite interestingly enough. We're going to pit in here. Make sure we hit the speed limit. There we go. Probably broke a little bit too early there, but either way, we're going to have the pit lane to ourselves. Everyone's staying out, which is quite interesting. I'm the only one in so far, so we're going to get a free pit lane to ourselves, pretty much. There we go, 2.4. Decent stop, no hold up, which is exactly what you want. We've got a Vettel behind and a Mercedes behind Sebastian there, so uh, let's see where we rejoin traffic-wise. That's going to be the key factor here. Maybe Bottas might, you know, with the cleaner, be able to push. Let's see. He's going to be close with Raikkonen. He's going to just be in front of me, so uh, yeah, that's kind of annoying. We're going to have to... Uh, negotiate a bit of a slower car from my Kimi Raikkonen and we're currently on cold tyres so we're probably going to catch him through sector 2 so this might just give Bottas enough time it's going to be close let's see what happens decent little hairpin there good traction come on doesn't Honda have enough juice to get past Kimi on this straight Kimi does go defensive I'm going to back out a little bit little switch back there oh yes that's what I'm talking about Kimi just out of breaking himself slightly there, but I think that's cost me more time, to be honest, by uh, having to go so slow to try and undercut Raikkonen. Max is coming in for his stop. Yep, we've got Verstappen in the pit lane. Now we're going to see where everyone is. Maximum attack now through this final corner here. We're going to need to make sure we uh, get it perfectly. There we go, that's pretty nice. And then we're going to run some high RS here to make sure we maximise the straight. Plenty of cars in the pit lane. Bottas leaving the pit exit now. We've done it. Yes, there it is. Undercut's worked out. That's perfect. The, work, the undercut's worked out. Bottas is right there. Oh, I've got to turn out. Bottas going down the inside there. Very audacious move. That's going to compromise my line a little bit through there. Bottas is going to be on me. I'm going to have to go defensive. Bottas done just enough there at the turn one apex to put me off. Oh, I'm a little bit hot into there. Straighten up the car. There we go. Right, I think we've got this. Just try and stay in front now. I think Bottas did just enough there through turn one to just launch it up the inside. Bit of a desperation move just to make sure I got a little bit flustered on the apex. I had to kind of turn out, but um, we managed to keep it under control. And we've got to try and stay in front. Looks like Leclerc and Verstappen have gained time in that entire sequence, so I do wonder if Bottas may have got held up a little bit. We're also going to see how this Mercedes is with the RS now that I am in front. How do we compare to the Silver Arrow with the Honda Power Unit? Let's find out. Nice clean traction out of there. 
up into the high engine modes. Bottas is on me to be fair. AI are pretty good at that final corner. Here comes Bottas. He's not getting that much. The Honda's doing well. The Honda's doing really well. We're going to cover the inside. Bottas tries to go late on the brakes. We're going to hold the apex. Bottas has absolutely done it right on the outside though. We're forced onto the extra curbing. Drag race up towards turn four here with Bottas. Look at that. We're actually pulling away on the straight here. Oh no, overcooked it. Bottas with a switch back. He's going to have the inside line through here. Oh, just got to leave the room. I don't want to turn in. This is so, so close. Down the inside. Doesn't quite work out. Bottas gets it. Fair play. Whew. Intense, man. This is so intense. 105 is probably the perfect AI because we're right in the thick of this race. I need to recompose myself here. I'm going to have to use a little bit of VRS. I don't really want to, but I'm going to have to burn up some battery to keep up with Bottas because it feels like he's um, turned up the engine a bit, which is uh, kind of annoying because he's definitely putting away on the straights a bit. But Stappen and Leclerc are right back in this race now, thanks to mine and Bottas' battle. But we need to uh, have a strong end to the lap here just to make sure we stay with Bottas. I don't, I don't want to lose the DRS. If we lose Bottas' DRS and uh, Verstappen and Leclerc stay with me, we could be in for a bit of a battle for the second place position so it's important that I stick with Bottas oh that's a good final corner there that was perfect that is perfect we might just have enough juice here overtake come on here we go look at this look at the Honda go oh my days that's what I'm talking about baby the Honda power unit yes sir that is what it's all about not the best line through there but we've got it done there I say I think we're faster than the Mercedes in the straights that was some great straight line speed there from the Honda Look at this, Bottas isn't even challenging me into turn four. Wow, this Honda man is doing really well. I'm really impressed. Okay, Bottas has got DRS once again. I'm gonna have to crank it up here because uh, we're on the back foot. I'm kind of trying to save my battery. I haven't really got much DRS deployment left. Bottas again down the outside. This time I've actually managed to break a little bit later and we've managed to stay in front this time. But yeah, I'm trying to save my ERS a little bit because uh, this isn't the career mode, so the, the efficiency isn't great. The battery is definitely going down, especially because the straights are so long. So I have to keep it in medium as long as I can and try and avoid using hot lap. I think Bottas might just be out of DRS now. It's been a very strong lap for me. Well, I'll say very strong. I mean, it's been a decent lap. I'm still half a second off my personal best. Um, but it's still been a strong lap. I think Bottas has also, I think, maybe just turned down the engine a bit. He's definitely not running as high engine mode as he was a moment ago. And the gap is 1.2 with two laps to go. And you can see there... Um, Half a second off my PB, but still a strong enough lap to open up a gap. And I think that might be what she wrote as Verstappen takes P3. I think we're just starting to pull away now from Bottas. I think he's given up. And I think he's run out of juice in the engine. Right then, here we go. Final lap of the Grand Prix. Final sector and the final corner. It's been a great race. Thoroughly enjoyable. Great battle with Bottas. In the end, the Honda-powered Red Bull comes out on top. And we're going to come through as Pierre Gassi to win in the desert at Bahrain. What a race really enjoyed that that was great fun and 105 AI was definitely on the sweet spot to make it a good race right so here we have the final race results then we win the Bahrain Grand Prix as Pierre Gasly Valtteri Bottas comes home P2 ahead of Max Verstappen in P3. And then we have Charles Leclerc P4 in the first of the Ferraris just ahead of Sebastian Vettel by 15 thousandths of a second. Extremely close across the line there. Lewis Hamilton P6 in the second Mercedes. Lando Norris P7 in the first of the McLarens. Fair play. Good performance from him ahead of Daniel Ricciardo, Sergio Perez and Lance Stroll. Then we have both of the Haas cars just outside the top 10. Raikkonen, Kvyat, Kibitza, Giovinazzi, Carlos Sainz all with Adam P17 there in the other McLaren. Albon, Russell and Hulkenberg, the only retirement of this Grand Prix. But all in all guys, that is going to be it for this video here today on the F1 2019 mod. If you guys did enjoy it then please do slap a like on it. If you want to download it for yourselves on PC, you can by clicking the link in the description down below. And also if you are new to the channel guys, please do get subscribed for daily Formula 1 content and turn notifications to not miss a single upload from me. Finally, check out these two videos on your screen if you have missed them. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Let's see my next video very soon. But until then, it's goodbye from me.